something really silly. So we went to the grocery store. I was walking in looking for our cart, like looking for a cart. I realized I didn't take our sunglasses off and I don't carry a purse or anything so I don't have anywhere to put stuff. So we wore our sunglasses in the grocery store, like both of us, like this walking around. And I'm gonna be honest, I never would have done that on purpose, right? Like no, I would not have done that. But that was actually my most comfortable shopping experience that I've had in a long, long time. We did have one guy who like he saw therapy and he was like started laughing of course which i don't whenever it's like that of course you expect somebody's gonna make comment or think that's funny or cute um so that didn't bother me or anything and he wasn't like trying to talk to her he just saw her like he rounded a corner and we kind of did too and he was like oh, you know because the glasses um but anyway so yeah this actually turned into a really good experience shopping and i'm very much considering maybe wearing sunglasses again sorry this is in the way but anyway, so we did that. I tried to film a little in there. Hopefully some of the footage came out. We actually have to go vote. And uh, what else are we doing? Yeah, and then I have a meeting in like 45 minutes. But I think the voting place is on the way home and I think we should just build a pop in and do it really quick. Anyway, we're gonna go. So we dropped that off. Like used to around here whenever you did early voting, like you could actually just go, there was boxes all over the place where you could drop your ballot off, right? Like it was a lot of them. Last night I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? I need to email and just find out because I was gonna drop it off not today, basically. And they said, no, you have to actually come in. And so I was like, oh crap. Okay, so we went ahead and did that too. But because this is like a big deal election, the second time around, like the, the tiebreaker over here is like a really big deal. And so literally y'all, the line was wrapped to even get up to where you go. And I happened to like notice there was another entrance to like not that part. There, there wasn't anyone it was like the actual courthouse part and I asked the guy I was like I walked in I'm like hey I just need to drop this off where do I go and he told me he's like you can just go on this little side door right here and open that and drop it in real quick and I was like oh my gosh thank you if I had waited and done like probably what everyone else was doing I would have had to wait in a line for like I mean that line was inside in like the squiggle you know how they put the little ribbon thing up it was inside like squiggling and then also it was outside and like turned it's probably 20, 25, 30 people standing outside in the line still. I was super happy that <laughs> I did that. So we got a lot done today. I feel like I did a meeting today. I feel like I've done everything I need to do. What's sure we wanna do? Isn't she so cute? You want puzzle dingbert dingbert? <laughs> okay. Hey guys, we want to pop in really quick and let you know about our service dog training log slash journals that we make. There's a public access study guide, over a hundred task ideas, over 145 socialization ideas and a checklist, more than 80 tricks. There's even an idea sheet for places that you can train your dog if your dog is not ready for public access yet. You can log your daily training plans, weekly training plans, monthly training plans. There's also a grooming routine tracker slash planner as well as a medication tracker. There's stuff for us humans too like self-care planning, tracking, goal tracking, project planning, and financial planning. So I'll link them above for you guys and I'll link them below as well. And you can check us out on Etsy. We are Fable Link. And now back to the show. Recording. Oh my God. Okay. I thought I was recording a second ago and I started talking. So I was in here making Fairby's puzzle and what else was I doing? I don't even know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I was in here doing some crap and she had asked her puzzle, so I was like making her puzzle and she saw that I was making Dingbert puzzle. She walked over and said Dingbert and you know, I was like, yeah, good job, whatever. But I, which I'm not puzzling with her because anyway, long story. So I was going to, I washed my hands basically. I guess all this matters. So important things you need to know i made her puzzle and then i washed my hands because i was in the middle of making a matcha so whenever i was doing that because i was putting water in the water you know our, our water thing or water purifier i offered Fairby a mug of water and i said do you want some water while you wait i sat a mug down by her and then like a few seconds later she got up and pressed no thank you <laughs> She didn't drink it and she got up and said no thank you. Okay. 
I'm in the middle of trying to film something and Fairby walked over and said water food. All right, y'all might be like, okay, who cares? I'm soaking her freeze dried raw, the Dr. Marty is right now. And so she is trying to tell me she wants it. Y'all, I swear every once in a while, she just like levels up, it's crazy. Um, but it has to soak, so I can't like reward her and be like, yeah, you said water food. I mean, I told her it was a big deal, but you know, whatever. So I'm gonna insert that clip for y'all cause I'm really proud of her. Yeah, I am. It's, yes. You're so smart. Therapy needs mommy, so we're gonna. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hi. She is the best. Do y'all know who the best doggy is? It's this girl. She needs her body shaved. She looks like so funny right now. You need your body shaved. You need shaving. All right, we're gonna play. 